Hey folks, in this session we're going to be looking at simplifying algebraic fractions. So off we go, let's get started with a good question. All right, so in this question we want to be able to um, simplify this fraction. We have uh, 12xy at the top and 8y squared at the bottom. Now I'm going to show you guys the long-winded way of doing this and then I'm going to show you guys the, the, the quick and fast way of doing this as well. All right, so off with the long-winded way. We have 12xy, and at the denominator, we have 8y squared. Now, the first thing is looking at 12 and 8. I know that the common factor for 12 and 8 is 4. So I can rewrite 12 as 4 times 3 times x times y. And then in the denominator, I have 8, which is 4 times 2 times y squared. So that's 2 lots of y. And from here, it is just a process of eliminating. So 4 and 4 cancel out each other. Uh, y and y cancel out each other. And what I'm left over with is 3 times x, which is 3x, and 2y in the denominator. All right. Now, this is a long-winded way of doing this. But if you are quite happy with um, eliminating uh, common factors straight away and manipulating your index powers, you could have straight away done this. Because 12 divided by 4 is 3 and 8 divided by 4, 4 is 2 and then in terms of y and y squared you can cancel y out and cancel this squared out with a 1 all right let me just do that better so I think you had a squared there so canceling one y that's going to leave you with um, another y at the bottom so in the numerator at the moment I've got 3x and in the denominator I have 2y same kind of idea guys all right, cool. Let's look at the next example. This time we've got 15x squared y and 20xy cubed. As usual, I'm going to show you guys both ways, the long way and the short way. So I'm going to do 15x squared y first, 20xy cubed. So expand between 15 and 20. I know that 5 is a common factor. So I've got 5 times 3 times x squared, which is times x and then y by itself. And that's all divided by, I've got 20, which is five times four, times x, times y, three lots of y. So now time to start canceling things out. My two fives cancel, I've got an x and x cancel, y and a y cancel. So in my numerator, I have three x, and in my denominator, I have four y squared. So if I was to do this the shorthand way, uh, is I do it this way. So I look at 15 and I go, all right, 15 divided by 5 is 3, 20 divided by 5 is 4. Now with x squared and x, I know that there's going to be 1, x to the power of 1 at the top. And then with y and y cubed, I'm going to have 2 at the bottom. So simplifying this, I have 3x over 4y squared. All right. The, the whole purpose of doing it the fast way on the right-hand side is when you start dealing with big y, uh, big powers, you don't want to be writing them all out. All right. It's just going to take too much time. And that's why we kind of just do this quickly this way as well. I'll show you one other, another method as well. Now, if you remember, if you have something like x7 over x cubed, we would say that this was x to the power of 7 minus 3, which in turn equals x to the power of 4. So you could do that also here if you want, because you could actually write it as 15 over 20, x to the power of 2 minus 1, and y to the power of 1 minus 3. And of course, uh, doing a 15 over 20, you get 3 and 4. So what you get is 3 over 4, x to the power of 1, and y to the power of negative 2. And of course, rewriting that, you get 3x over 4y squared. Just another way of doing it as well. <laughs> cool. That's it for this session, guys. Any questions, pop it in the comments. And once again, thank you for watching.